let's continue our study of constant speed flight. Now, while we're moving forward, we're also generating the aerodynamic loads on the wing, which causes a lift. Notice that D and T are now equal. We're saying that they've already reached equilibrium. But let's talk now about the lift force. Now, what I didn't draw before was the weight of the aircraft. And the lift is going to increase, and as long as the weight is greater than the lift, this is going to stay on the ground. Eventually, the lift gets larger than the weight, and it's going to start raising this aircraft up into the air. Once again, we're going to sum the vertical forces, W minus L, or L minus W equals MA. Eventually, when we get to the elevation we want, the lift force is going to perfectly balance that weight and we have horizontal flight. We're ignoring a couple things, but this is the basics.